July the 3rd, 2020. Guys, I hope everyone's having a safe weekend. Uh, there's going to be a lot of events going on. Trump's going to be live on TV, PBS, some other channels uh, in a few minutes uh, from at the fireworks display at uh, Mount Rushmore. But another thing, there's two things in the sky. One is there's going to be a, a 4th of July lunar eclipse. You can see here it says it's a minor eclipse. It's not a major full eclipse. But on the tomorrow night on the 4th, the full moon will pass through the pale outskirts of Earth's shadow, uh, producing a penumbral lunar eclipse. The northern half of the full moon will be only slightly darkened during the three-hour event. And it begins just after 11 p.m. Eastern. That will be 10 p.m. Central, then all the way to 8 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, most people won't notice, but if you know the eclipse is happening, you will see it. Happy 4th. That's just coming from space weather. One of the links on our website down on the left. Now, the other thing that's happening. Now, the other thing that's going on is uh, this is Chris Shear. He's out of Payson, Arizona. He shot these pictures of Comet Neowise. Now, Payson is a, I love it. I go through there when I go to either Phoenix or Sedona. I like that mountain route instead of the interstates. Beautiful, beautiful area. But he was shooting this with a six-inch telescope. Now, some are saying that uh, if you look very closely, you can catch it. it. It will not be this bright, but it will be faint with the naked eye or binoculars. But what's happening is it's now at the closest approach to the sun, the perihelion. And when that happens, that's when the comet will be the brightest and also under the most strain. But it's brightening rapidly because as you get closer to the sun, that solar stream is activating everything about this comet. It's an electric universe. But again, Chris Schur, uh out of Payson, Arizona. So you guys start checking this out uh, if you can uh, get a, uh, a good shot of it. Share it with us. Remember, uh, it was diving i mean it was coming up under the planet our planet and then today at perihelium it's closest to the sun and it's going to get easier to see over the next few weeks as it rises above the sun in other words once the sunrise happens we're blinded by that the sun sun overwhelms anything like this close to it but as it rises in the sky that will become easier through the summer Again, happy July, folks. Travel safely. I want you to keep your eyes wide open. Be aware of your situational awareness. It's not a good time to be in big crowds if you're in the cities. It's a heads up. Be safe.